Hi, JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 29 of Action April, the month where I watch action films I've never seen before, and I pick them one per day randomly. And what do we get today? Well, yesterday we had Ring of Death, so today we're watching Vibes. Is this an action film? The psychic comedy that is out of its mind. Medium, Cyril Pickle, and psychometrist, Nick Deasy. Meet at a psychic research facility in New York. Not long after, they're contracted by Harry Buscafusco, who offers them 50000 to find his lost son in South America, in the heart of Incan territory, where they discover an ancient mystical secret and each other. Okay, well, I didn't know this was an action film, but um, I'm game. Uh, day 29, I'm watching Vibes. Vibes. The reason why I was shocked to see this as an action film is because it's not really an action film. It's an adventure. Sure, I can accept that. But there's little action in this adventure. In all truth, I kind of knew this film was going to suck right from the start. By this scene, where we see a chimpanzee dressed as a baseball player, and the camera turns away. Oh boy. The film starts off promising, as our two leads meet for the first time at a psychic convention. And there's room for multiple odd characters to do a bunch of humorous things. And yet they leave it all behind to kick off an actionless adventure. Being led by a con artist, Harry, played over the top by Peter Falk. And he's about the most energetic thing in this film. I break you like a twig. Understand? Yes. I loved your last movie. What was that called? Conan the Nurse? Okay, no trouble. Our two protagonists, Jeff Goldblum and Cindy Lauper, don't have the chemistry you would expect in a romantic comedy. Sidney Lauper even wrote in her memoirs that her and Jeff Goldblum did not get along during the production of the show. And that can be somewhat evident while watching this. Considering the talents of Jeff Goldblum and Peter Falk, I would have expected to enjoy this a lot more than I did. Even Cindy Lauper. I want you bad, all right. I dream about you and me in a house in Long Island. I'm only half a woman till I make love to you. You happy now? Well, it has a good song at the end of the film. One of the main problems I had is that this film doesn't know what type of film it wants to be. Besides being a knockoff of Romancing the Stone. The film has a few surreal jokes. Walking that fine line of becoming abstract. Then, the film wants us to take it seriously again when it comes to the romance between our two leads. The film also wants to be a mystical adventure, but never gives any deep insight into the magical portion of the story. And the film also appears like it's avoiding action scenes. There's gunplay, there's assassins. I'm going to kill you. Can I take it sexes off? <laughs> It feels like it wants to be an action film, but we don't get any chase scenes, we don't get any fights, and the guns don't get shot too often. It's no wonder this film ended up being one of the biggest bombs of 1988. With an estimated budget of 18 million, the film made 1.8 million worldwide. Like most films that have Jeff Goldblum, I enjoyed watching it, thinking that this is really Jeff Goldblum playing himself as the character. And yes, I would love to see modern-day Jeff Goldblum return to play Nick Deasy again. It's an aphrodisiac. It's made from the horn of rhinoceros and dried rabbit glands. But no sugar, I hope. And there you go, day 29 of Action April. This time I watched Vibes. What other films are advertised as an action film but don't have much action to deliver? Let us know in the comment section. 
And if you're curious about other films I'm watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button for updates daily. And for other information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.